I've already showed us how to unlock bootloader and then flash custom recovery and custom ROM. Like this one is custom Xiaomi EU and which is like three times better than the stock global I was on officially from Xiaomi. But I love the latest Android 12. So if you want to move from this to Android 12 and your device happens to be Poco F3, then you are at the right place. So come with me. Let me take you step by step of how to move from my UI to Android 12. If you're ready, let's get started. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. And before you start doing anything with Poco F3, you need to have an OTG, which will make things easier for you. I'll explain later in the video. Then pick all kinds of backup. So here are the prerequisites that you require to do this and unlock bootloader PC with ADB and fast boot. And then you have to download the ROM file and read the instruction properly. Now I'm going to go to the ROM I want to flash Android 12. This one is Kraken OS, <laughs> Kraken the Dragon. You remember that? So you're going to shut down your phone first and reboot it into fastboot mode and then connect it to the PC with ADB and fastboot already ready. Then when you do that, type uh, fastboot devices and hit enter to be sure that there is communication between your PC and your phone. As you can see, once you see a serial number, then it's good. So on the right is the instruction from the support group of this ROM. We're going to flash uh, the boot image from there. Uh, this ROM has its own recovery, so you're going to flash it as boot image. So read the instructions very well and then follow it to the letter. So that's the most important thing about this. Don't think you know because each ROM have its own unique way of doing things in Poco F3 Android 12. So once you've done flashing the boot image the next thing you also use is adb command adb uh, reboot recovery and then it will now reboot the kraken um, os uh, unique uh, recovery it's like it's based on lineage recovery so if you already know about lineage recovery it's still the same interface so once you've follow the instruction there that say that we have to format data so once we're done with this we're going to go to it and then go factory reset and then we're going to click on format data stroke factory reset so that is the thing because that is why i said you should make all kinds of backup because formatting data will wipe everything in your phone wow man that's not easy. I actually lost my intro <laughs> when I did this. I, I didn't remember to back everything up. So please make sure you back everything up. Now next, you're going to go to apply updates, uh, still from the instruction, and then do uh, ADB side load. So you select ADB side load. There will be some instruction on the screen now that ADB side load is turned on. Now, the next thing you do after that is go back to your PC and then you need to type ADB devices. So the ADB devices command will switch you from fast boot mode to ADB uh, mode without you going out of the command prompt. So now the daemon will start and then you will see that your device is on side load. You see the device serial number and it's on side load. So once this is done now, you just type ADB side load and then you put the address or the part of the zip or you can also do the normal drag and drop and then drop uh, the zip uh, from wherever it is in your system, drop it down on that command line and you'll be good to go. So mind you, drag and drop will not work if you opened the command prompt as administrator. So you have to copy the path and paste, but whichever one, you just, it's still the same thing. So once you hit enter, the magic will just start happening. So the ADB, the ROM would now start, you know, installing uh, from ADB side load. So you can look in and see the progress. Um, so when uh, it finishes, one of the things you have to watch out for is that the phone the phone could give error. I think I've, I've done ADB side load and it gave error, but they run flashed. So when it finishes, it will give you results, returned result or something like that at the end. Yeah. So now it's, it's <laughs> still working because you might think it's finished here. Yeah. Uh, you just have to wait till the step two finishes. It will give you something. Now it has finished. So it's shown the result, returned result zero or anything. So, but once it's done like this, and then you can now go back and reboot the system and uh, you should be able to see yourself on a new ROM. Yeah, we have unleashed the Kraken, unleashed the dragon people. 
So that's it. And then <laughs> our new ROM is set. So uh, let me just clear some things up here. You have to follow instruction anytime you are flashing an Android 12 ROM for Poco F3 because uh, each ROM has different way to go about it. Some will go through side uh, ADB side load, some will go through recovery, and some will go through uh, fast boot mode and all that. So make sure you read the instruction, follow it. If you have any problem, in <laughs> just, just hit me up in the comment section. And if you like this video, please subscribe. You know, make sure you subscribe to this channel and then and let me hear from you in the comment section like and share and i feel free to ask me any question and until i see you in the next one peace subscribe i'll see you